Hey guys, welcome back. In the previous video, we handled our JSON schema. We added some JSON schema assertions. And in this video, I'm just going to do some minor refactorings uh, to a little bit clean up our uh, files and the structure of them. So for example, last time when we were asserting our JSON schemas, all the schema files were present inside, directly inside the resource directory. Now, you can imagine if you have a complex project, you might have a lot of schema files and then it might not make sense to put all of them directly inside the resources. So what we can do is we will create a new directory called uh, schemas. Okay, so directory with the name schemas already exists. It's pretty good. So we already have a directory called schemas. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to refactor and move these files from here to the schema directory. And what you will see is when I do that, also automatically the file class path will change. So if I move it to schemas, refactor, you see it has automatically now changed to schemas forward slash create booking schema.json. And let's also move this read update booking schema file to schemas, refactor. And this would also move, for example, the read update booking schema path. So this is good. I also want to like rename this uh, method name matches schema in a file. Well, it's pretty evident that it's a file because it's great booking schema JSON. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a control B and I'm going to refactor and rename this file. So if I give a shift F6, I would say matches schema and I will just delete this. And if I do a control B, Let's look into a test. Now this is more readable, right? Assert that response status code is this, matches schema, post has booking, assert all. Um, now if we quickly look into all these file paths, I think the create booking schema is only used once. The read update booking schema is used a couple of times. And I would say now the choice is yours. You can either extract this as a constant inside this test class, which is also acceptable because you're not going to do schema validations in another test class for the same API, right? Like this is the place where you're asserting it. So you can either keep it inside the same test class as a constant, or you can put it as a configuration property and add it, add it in, in a, uh, let's say in a common class, which could be called schemas.config. And you know, you can provide the path uh, over there, and then you can call that path like we call uh, in any other place using the test config class. So for example, bookings API, this is how we specify uh, to get the configuration and then you can call the configuration as config.getString. So you have got multiple options available. But first and foremost, let's come here and let's extract this as a constant. So we would say right click, refactor and I would say introduce constant so schemas read update booking schema json in fact i would just read update booking schema json so now we have a constant and as we will see the constant value specified here which is public static final string uh, so it's a static field it can be used anywhere in the class it's final it's not going to change and it's a string value and it's called schema read update booking schema now this is much more readable and Tomorrow, if we either rename this directory or, you know, if we change it to something else, we only need to change it in one place rather than changing it in multiple places. Uh, if you want, you can also do the same for our uh, create booking schema. So you can select this and you can do a refactor, introduce constant. So create booking schema, JSON. So that's it. I'll keep this video short. I just want to do this quick, quick refactoring before I go to the next video. Thank you. See you. Cheers. Bye-bye.